Please don't fall. Why do I have so many favorites, guys? It's too heavy. <laughs> back to a brand new book video. For today, I thought it would be really fun to share with you the best of the best, the creme de la creme, my ultimate favorites, my five star reads, and there are a lot. So let's get into it right away with It Ends With Us by Queen Colleen Hoover. And before you click out of this video, I know, I know, this book is so hyped. Everybody and their mom and Kylie Jenner apparently has read this book, but sometimes when something is so hyped, it just simply means that it deserves the hype and that is definitely the case for this book. I love this with my entire heart. So for those of you who don't know what this is about, this is a story about Lily and Raul who are currently in a relationship and then it switches back to the past where Lily was in a relationship with her very first boyfriend ever named Atlas. And the past is actually written in the form of diary entries, which are actually letters to Ellen DeGeneres, which I thought was so cute. And in this story, you see both of those relationships develop and a little warning, this is definitely not just your fluffy romance despite the cutesy cover with the pink. Please do look up trigger warnings because one of the relationships described in this book is actually a toxic relationship. And I think that this book, besides it being a page turner, so beautifully written, just amazing because it is Colleen Hoover and she's my favorite author. It also is such an empowering book for women currently dealing with a toxic relationship like this or women who have dealt with it in the past. I feel like this is such an inspiration and I really hope that besides it being just a very interesting read, it can also inspire lots of young women and men who are you know, not happy in their relationships to choose themselves and to step out of that, even though it's really hard. So yeah, beautiful story. It has a good ending in my opinion. And guys, I'm so super happy because this will get a sequel pretty soon. It Starts With Us will be released um, in October, I think October 18th, if I'm not mistaken. And oh my god, guys, I can't wait to read it. I will definitely pre-order. I just want to read it immediately when it comes out because I'm so stoked. One of my favorite reads of all time. If you're a book lover, this is a must. Then we have Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren, also one of my favorite authors ever. And this is actually an author duo in case you didn't know yet. And this is a story about Macy and Elliot and it's a childhood friends to lovers situation. Something terrible has happened in this book and that drifted them apart and you get to find out why, what happened. This also has tragic elements in it. So also maybe look up the trigger warnings if you're easily triggered. But um, overall, this is just a very beautiful love story about your first love. It's so cute, especially the beginning, seeing them, you know, go from friends to lovers slowly but surely. And also they both are book lovers, which is such a delight to read about as a fellow book lover. Like, how amazing is it to read a book about people who love books? Um, it can't get any better than that in my opinion. So yeah, super cute read. Then we have a pretty recent release. This is Good Girl Complex by Elle Kennedy and this book actually came out this year in January. I also read it as soon as it came out and I'm so happy that I did because this has like everything that I love, not only in books but also in real life. Um, it is set in a beach town, beach vibes, summer campfire nights. This is just your coconut girl aesthetic, um, but then in book form and I'm just living for it. As you guys know, the beach is like my home. So um, yeah, this was just made for me. This is about, you know, the super intelligent, um, cute girl meets the bad boy. And then of course, you know where it goes. But this actually has a little bit of a twist because she has a boyfriend and the guy, the bad boy in this book, might have ulterior motives for 
wanting to date her. It's very interesting, spicy, a page turner, everything that I want from a summer beach read. I might do a video soon where I recommend you guys books that are great to read on the beach, but here's a little sneak preview already. This is definitely a great book for this summer or if you just want to get into the summer vibe already. And then moving on to something completely different, Layla by Colleen Hoover. Again, Colleen Hoover, I know, I know there will be other authors in this as well, but she's just a queen in my opinion. And Layla is such a scary, eerie, well, it's not really scary, it's more eerie uh, vibe. Like, oh my god, this is just mind blowing. This is about a relationship that starts off like perfect you know your movie relationship where you know everything seems like roses and rainbows and butterflies and unicorns and whatnot but then something tragic happens and there is some paranormal activity going on. I'm usually not into that kind of stuff, but Colleen writes so, so well, and I was intrigued the whole time. They don't want to put this down, and I think that is what defines a good book for me, is that if you just want to keep on reading, even though your eyes are like almost falling down and you're like, almost falling asleep but you still want to keep reading because you want to know what happens next that is exactly what this is i'm not going to talk too much about you know what the plot of this book is just because i feel like you have to read it for yourself and i feel like with colleen hoover books at least most of them it is best if you go in completely blind because then you get to experience you know the full plot twist and just every page is so exhilarating so yeah definite recommendation and to stay within those same vibes Verity um, I feel like this is the more popular you know thriller suspense novel that Colleen has done um, also extremely creepy so this is about a writer and she gets this amazing assignment like the deal of a lifetime it will make her so much money and she's in desperate need of money to finish the works that another author has made so she needs to finish like a few novels of this author that can't do that herself due to an accident and so she moves in with this author and her family the author is named verity she's in a wheelchair she doesn't speak but creepy stuff starts happening the family is really weird and then our main character lowen finds a manuscript that will completely turn her life upside down the creepiest stuff the scariest stuff the weirdest stuff is in that manuscript and this book is just like a roller coaster there are plot twists in this um and it's like an open ending there are like two camps are you team manuscript are you team letter and you will get that once you finish this this is a must if you like suspense novels definite recommendation and then daisy jones and the six by taylor jenkins reed so this is about sex drugs and rock and roll this is about a band in the 70s called the six and a girl named daisy jones an aspiring singer she then joins the band and it becomes daisy jones in the six and this is all written in interview style so you get to read all the like quotes of all the band members and it's about their story their rise to fame and why they split up there is love stories in this there is heartbreak in this there is just loss and love and lust um this book has everything i was a little bit confused because this is so different than you know your usual novel because of the writing style because of that interview style but i ended up loving this devouring this so yeah this is just perfect um love taylor jenkins read in general also her book um the seven husbands of evelyn hugo is amazing this is about evelyn hugo who is an old hollywood movie actress and one day she meets up with this journalist and she basically tells her that she wants her life story to be written down before she dies and her life story is crazy you guys cheating multiple marriages um toxic relationships lesbian relationships it is all over the place it will make you cry it will make you laugh it will make you fall in love with the main character evelyn and then hate the main character it also has a plot twist in the end and 
the writer that she decides to tell her life story to she is like completely unknown um and constantly when you're reading this book you're wondering why did Evelyn pick her it must have something to do with her past and when you find out how they are connected it's just so heartbreaking a must read if you ask me I feel like the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo is going to become a classic in the future. That's how good it is. I love it. And then we have the Addicted series by Krista and Becca Ritchie. So this is just pure joy. I haven't finished the series yet. I'm like three books in. I will start a fourth book very soon. Um, but this is about Lily and Lo. Lily is a sex addict and Lo is an alcoholic and they basically enable each other in these addictions by pretending to be in a relationship. Then their fake dating turns into real dating. You guys know the drill and this is just so perfect because I feel like this is one of the only books that made me feel like I'm actually friends with the main characters which sounds so delusional and so insane I'm aware of that but trust me you'll feel so emerged in this whole world and it's not only about Lily and Lo but also about the other Calloway sisters it's like the addicted series and it's intertwined with the Calloway sister series um so I feel like there are like 10 books in total so it's like this whole world that has been built they're reality tv stars they're super famous they come from rich families um kind of gave me gossip girl vibes a little bit I love it so good another series that I can highly recommend The Deal by L. Kennedy again a book by L. Kennedy um and this is part of the off-campus series and it also has a spin-off called Briar U. Each book is about a different hockey player and the relationship that they get into. All the hockey players are friends, so you will see the other characters in the follow-up books as well, which I love. Um, it's like a companion novel series, so good. Again, just like a cute escape from the real world um, you get so sucked into this and you feel for these characters this is like more of a light read there is one triggering subject in this though but overall this is like very light and fluffy and spicy um, and this is also very spicy please be aware of that um, yeah then I read a bunch of books for my reading BTS's favorite books video amongst which um, is this one and this is Kafka on the Shore by Haruki Murakami if there is one book that you need a trigger warning for it is this one the other books are nothing compared to the pure evil that is in this book truly this is a roller coaster at its finest this is like true literature took me a while to get into it at first but I also couldn't put this down so beautifully written but so heartbreaking so weird so mind-blowing um, this is definitely not for the faint-hearted. I'm not even going to try to explain what this is about. This has so many things. Um, speaking to cats. Fish will fall from the sky. Um, it's it's crazy, but I loved it. And Namjoon recommended it, so then you know that it's so good. Then a book that Yoongi recommended, Almond. This is a coming-of-age novel. It is about a boy who um, has trouble communicating with others because of a brain condition that he has. He has troubles understanding emotions and um, yeah, just finds it very difficult to live in the world that he lives in. And he becomes friends with like the school's biggest bully, um, the worst person you can imagine at such a young age. And this is a story about their friendship. Um, it's so heartbreaking, so beautifully written, can highly recommend. Also a beautiful piece of true literature. Um, then on to another Colleen Hoover book, November 9 by... I wanted to say the author, of course, by Colleen Hoover. So this is about Ben and Fallon. One day, Fallon sits in this booth at this cafe or like diner with her father. And her father makes really nasty remarks about her and her appearance. Because Fallon's face and parts of her body are like scarred because she was in a fire. And she wants to become an actress. But then her father starts telling her like, you can never be an actress. Nobody wants you. Blah 
blah blah blah he's like super mean to her and then ben an aspiring novelist uh slides into the booth and he starts pretending like he is her boyfriend to save her from her mean dad this sparks something in both of them and because Ben wants to be a writer and Fallon wants to be an actress and um, they both you know want to chase their dreams do not want to be tied to relationships so instead of starting dating they decide that they're going to meet up one day a year every single year for like the next five years and their rule is that they should not have any contact in between no Instagram no Facebook no messages no nothing not looking each other up on Google not no contact and that just makes for a really interesting story um, again this has heartbreaking elements in it it's just super good and I also feel like with these books me telling you that these are my five star reads out of all the books that I've read and I've read so many already should already be enough to convince you to read it trust me guys these books are so good you will not be disappointed especially not by this one heart bones i know it's also colleen hoover and um, there's one more colleen hoover book in this list and then i will stop talking about her i know it's like a bit much but she's my favorite author not all the books that i read from her get five stars though but this one definitely does because this is heart bones and this also has beach vibes this is the perfect summer read um this is one of colleen's like young adult novels so extremely good it's about bea who comes from a really poor family samson who comes from a really rich family they meet because bea is staying in the beach house of her dad and she hasn't seen her dad in years they usually don't have any contact but her mom passed away in the beginning of this book that's also how this book starts on a really tragic note so she moves to this beach house for the summer she falls in love with samson but samson has a lot of secrets um that will completely destroy their relationship it's so extremely good a true page turner and living for the beach aesthetic then another true page turner the silent patient by alex mikhail mikhailidis Mi Mi i'm just not I didn't want to drop that i'm not even gonna try i'm so sorry it's a beautiful last name but i i just can't no okay i wanted to try it again it's not gonna happen today um uh, this book you've probably seen it you've probably heard about it it's so good this is about a woman who gets admitted to a mental asylum after shooting her husband five times in the face horrible and after that she doesn't speak a word in this book you're trying to figure out what happened so interesting you're in the head of the psychiatrist that treats her insane insane plot twist loved this then reminders of him like i told you there's going to be one more colleen hoover book in this list and that's this one reminders of him is about a girl who is fresh out of prison nobody wants to talk to her nobody wants her to get into contact with her daughter who she never even cuddled never even held because she was in prison and in this book you're trying to figure out what she did why she is in prison she starts a new relationship with the only man in town that might be able to bring her closer to her daughter but will her past ruin her present um that's what this is about so beautiful very different from the other colleen hoover books that i read but equally as good um yeah really good story then we were liars by e lockhart i know this is such a controversial book because so many people on book talk absolutely hate this and i loved it like this was one of my first favorites uh like last year i started to get really back into reading again i was like a huge bookworm growing up and then i stopped reading for a while and now i'm completely back into it and i read this book and i read it in like two days couldn't stop this i was so intrigued this also has beach vibes but it's also um like insane plot twist it's very eerie creepy <sighs> this is so good i'm not gonna talk too much about the plot because you just have to figure out for yourself all you need to know is that on the back 
this says if anyone asks you how it ends just lie we are the Sinclairs. We live, at least in summertime, on a private island off the coast of Massachusetts. Perhaps that's all you need to know, except that some of us are liars. And that describes the book so, so well. Once you've finished it, you will see that this little description makes so much sense. I can't. This is so good. And then the one and only favorite. If somebody would tell me that I could only read one book for the rest of my life, it will be this one, Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. <sighs> Guys, this is siblings, secrets, scandals, and surfing. This is about the daughter of Mick Riva. So if you've read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, then you know Mick Riva. You know what a douchebag he is, but his children definitely are not. Oh my god, Nina is like the perfect main character. She's this surfer girl, lives in Malibu. Every single year, they throw this lavish party. All the siblings together in Nina's Malibu house. All the rich and famous of Hollywood is invited. And in this book, like all the events are told in the span of one night, like the night leading up to that party and the party itself. And then it flashes back to the past, to Nina's mom and her relationship with Mick Riva um to the beginning of their fame uh this is just so good it feels like a memoir like all taylor jenkins reads books you just feel like the characters are real so after you finish a book you end up like wanting to google them because they feel so realistic to you um this book just has my heart because of the aesthetic of this um i just love the setting and how everything was described so beautiful not per se a love story um, but just a very intriguing family, I don't know how to explain it, like family tragedy, uh, family relationship, family secrets, that's what this is, love. And those were all the books. I was about to clean this big mess up and put all of my books back on their shelves. And tell me why I almost left out the greatest book of all time, The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller amazing retelling of greek mythology love story between achilles and patroclus come on guys uh also five stars so now for real these were all my five star favorites please let me know your five star reads and thank you for watching bye bye love you Let